What's going on you guys, Frost here, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about a Mumu for the preseason. So, get, let's get right into the runes first. This is my rune base for a Mumu. On a Mumu, I go for 3 flat ability power quins, which is some straight up AP early on. Then I go for scaling ability power and glyphs to, like, a Mumu only needs a little bit of AP early on to help him clear the jungle efficiently. Any more than this is just not that useful early game, so you might as well take something that scales better, gives you a bit more AP later on in the game. Then you take Magic Pen, because everything a Mumu does, does magic damage, so you might as well just increase that. Plus, you don't need attack speed or anything like that to increase your jungle clear. Like, Magic Pen is the best option. And then you take Flat Armor. The reason you take Flat Armor on a Mumu is because he has some trouble clearing his jungle in the first couple of levels, until he gets, like, Two to three points in his E, his jungle clear will hurt him a lot. So, to get that extra bit of damage reduction in early, you take flat armor on him. You could potentially, with a good leash, make this scaling armor if you would like that. But I wouldn't risk that because just flat armor early on is the best thing to help a Mumu out. Especially if you're getting counter jungled by like a Lee Sin or something. Then ex having that extra armor is going to help you survive, most likely. So that's why you get flat armor on him. Now for the masteries. Do I have one? I clearly don't. Alright. Uh, on a Mumu, you go for pretty much this setup. Right here in the cunning tree. So you go for the savage tree. Not the most useful one. But wanderer isn't really that useful either. It's kind of a... Do both honestly because separatory on a mumu doesn't particularly help you since you do so much aoe damage so there is a point to be made for wander in my opinion but uh, it doesn't matter i think wonder actually yeah wonder would probably be the better choice just because savagery doesn't help a mumu that much since um, he has so much aoe damage so probably the movement speed is the better choice there then you take assassin because well, with the way I build a Mumu, then this is going to give you a solid damage increase. So that's why you take this. You probably get yourself in a 1v1 situation or something like that. Or like a 1v3 situation with like good Mumu ults and stuff. It's going to give you that nice damage increase, which is really, uh, really useful. Then Merciless, extra damage. Dangerous game, just for some extra sustain if you would one-shot people. It helps you survive a bit. And then Precision, Magic Pen, and Thunderlord's Decree for the extra burst damage. Now, in this tree, I take extra, like, health region for 5 seconds. Then I take tough skin to get a little bit less damage. Like, mainly in the early game, it's really where you want that damage. Where you want to be able to take less damage from your jungle camps. Because the first levels, again, on the Mumu are the most difficult ones in clearing his jungle. After, like, level 3, level 4, he has no problems at all. Now, I take veteran scars on the Mumu because he has no shields, he has no healing. And he has no lifesteal. So, why would you take this? Might as well take the 50 extra health from it. And then you take Insight. This is a really big one on a Mumu because your flash is massive. On a Mumu, flash is a big deal. Because you can flash ult people. Or rather, ult flash people. Because if you press R and then flash, then you take the ult with you and it's instant. So people can't dodge it that easily. But a flash ult is deadly. Especially with Maya Mumu build, a flash ult is absolutely deadly. It will... Pretty much sway team fights in a matter of a second. If you flat like later in the game, when you have a couple of items on a Mumu, if you ult flash someone, then E, you can deal about 60% at least, like to a tank on a Mumu later in the game. That's AOE damage, just straight up to their entire team. You might one shot the AD carry and mid laner as well. So a flash to make those unexpected plays or make those nice engages is really important, and that's why you want this uh, summoner spell cooldown reduction. Now, this is the runes and masteries then. The, uh, this is the runes again. And then the masteries are these. Now, for the item build on the Mumu. I guess I had it set up here as well. I don't know. This account is some... Uh, I've not logged into this account in a long time. As you can see by pretty much this being unranked from last season. And I've only placed one placement game. But yeah. Uh, where was I? Item set. Amumu. So you want to start with a talisman. Hunter talisman right here. You're only doing spells, so you get the extra health from this. It's really useful. You get extra mana region. Again, really useful. Then a hunter's potion. Uh, no, not a hunter's potion. A refillable potion. 
this is all Amumu needs to sustain these days. Like, before in the older jungle, he needed three health potions to be able to get through his full jungle clear early. But since uh, Wraith Camp became so much bigger, and same for the Krug Camp, or Golem Camp, or however you want to see it, you don't need it anymore because you're going to get hit so often that your E is going to come off cool in, in a matter of that, like, literally just half a second per E, so you can just press the button, press the button, and the Wraith Camp will die. So, it, like, your Wraith Camp takes you probably four to five seconds-ish when you first go to it. And same for the Krug Camp, it's really quick. If you kill, after they start splitting up, you start taking a lot of uh, auto-attack hits where your E starts to reset. So, getting your E back that fast every time means you take less damage overall, so you can get away with a refill... Re Whoa. You can get away with a refillable potion. That's why I go for it. Now, generally, after a full clear on your first back, you will have about 900 gold. Now, you can do one of two things. I personally prefer picking up the uh, Wisp. Wait, what? Wisp? This one? On my first back, because it gives me that nice movement speed and nice extra um, uh, ability power to increase my clear speed after that. Now, that's the first back item. And then on a the second back, you pick up this one, the increase there. And then you pick up some standard boots. This will give you a lot of extra mobility with like com combining these two items plus the extra sustain you need because Amumu quite needs quite some mana sustain mainly to clear his jungle with so Hunter's Potion is really useful to have because this 35 extra mana per camp pretty much you get back is pretty much I'm saying pretty much a lot Jesus Christ it's just an E every single time like your E is 35 mana you get 35 mana back so every time for every camp you clear you save one uh, e worth of mana which is quite noticeable honestly now after this after you get this you simply want to rush into this one runic echoes and after runic echoes you want to get your yourself a pair of sword shoes this combination of items gives you a lot of burst damage which is really useful it gives you some magic pen plus amumu's passive also gives magic pen 20 magic pen uh, at like level 11 or some shit. I, I'm not so sure how much it is, but it gives you a solid amount of magic pen as well. So it really starts to stack up. Now, after those... Oh, by the way, I don't go for Cinder Hulk on Amumu because you want to get that extra burst damage from this plus the extra mana sustained from this. This is overall a better decision to go for on Amumu. More mobility helps you get in position for those that like those important ultimates. So Cinder Hulk is just kind of eh. You don't need it. It does not really help you that much. This just overall gives you way more play potential and way more burst potential as well to get yourself ahead and get yourself those kills. So after this, you want to go for more magic pen in the form of a hunting, guys. Get that extra, like, nice extra bit of HP in. 200 HP, 25 ability power, and the main thing, 15 magic penetration. Plus, the item this builds into is going to be really, really good on Amumu later on after your next item. So after you got this, this is your core. This is what you want to go for early game. It's going to give you a lot of one-shot potential because you're pretty much going to be dealing true damage after you get this. Because at this is in the game, not a lot of people will have built that much magic resist yet. So um, they probably have about 70 magic resist maybe. And then this gives you uh, a solid 15 plus 15 is 30. Plus your passive will give you another 20. So it's going to be like 50 magic pen once you get this completed. Which is a lot of magic pen. Now, after your hunting guys, you want to go into a Rhylize. You don't want to finish your hunting guys into a Leandris yet, because this is going to help you stick to people with the uh, slow, and plus it gives you 100 ability power and 400 extra HP. It's going to make you a lot more tanky, which is why this is a really great item. But after your hunting guys really rush into that Rhylize Crystal Scepter, it's going to give you the slow, it's going to help you stick to people, and it's going to help killing people much easier. It helps you kill people much easier. So after your Rhylize, you ha will have that build-in constant slow, which means that the passive from Leandris is going to deal a lot more damage. Because they're constantly like impaired, move like movement impaired units because they're slowed. So this item combination is going to deal serious amounts of damage. Like you're going to be able to delete tanks, delete anybody honestly. This item combination is godlike on the moon. You can permanently slow people with your W. That's why Rhylize is so annoying to deal with, especially on Amumu. Because the W keeps procking and procking. So the Rylas keeps procking and procking. And then your E slows them even more. Plus your Q is a stun and your R is a snare. So 
you it's really difficult to get away from this type of a mumu. So after you finish this, so this will be like your core build, like your all of the damage you pretty much have to build on the mumu to be able to, su to sustain damage throughout the entire game. If you want to go full try hard mode, um, like the best option is a frozen heart right now. After this entire, after you build these four items, the best option is a frozen heart. Because 20% CDR is really useful to get your ult off cooldown faster. Plus just overall cooldown reduction is really nice. Then it gives you extra mana, which is useful because I mean, we needs quite a bit of mana. And the 90 armor is pretty important, but also the attack speed reduction. Like this item overall gives you literally all the stats you could possibly want from an item. Because a lot of armor in this item and you uh, is going to help you tank. Like, be a good tank, because you build 300 health there and 400 health here. You have an extra 700 health from these two items. And then an instant boost to your armor is going to make you really tanky. Plus the CDR, just really good item. Now, at this stage, you can do one of two things. Depending on how fed you are and depending on the enemies. Usually, the best option is a Banshee's Veil. Because this is going to give you that nice magic resist, extra health, base health regen. Just overall a good tanky item to get. Plus the spell shield is really useful to like get into the enemy team. So you cannot get CC down before you get your nice ultimate off. For example you would flash in. Or like your ult flash in, or just flash in or something. And then ult or I don't know. But usually with an ult flash it's pretty much uncounterable if you do it correctly. But it, it's going to allow you to get a Q off. Get an extra stun off. Get some extra E damage off before you get instantly CC'd when you jump in. Because you're, it's going to block a spell. And that spell could very well be like a Tarek stun or something. You know, targeted CC. So that's really helpful. Banshees in this situation. This is a really good full build. And can last you to about 50 minutes in game easily. Like no problem. It's a pretty cheap build as well. Which makes getting full build on a Mumu not that difficult. But this is going to make you so... Ta you can easily like 1v4 people with this build. You can pretty much one shot the AD carry and mid laner with it. And then you can just survive because of the tanky stats this, this build has. So that's this, this is pretty much a full build. But however, if you're really fat or if you're really like good at a Mumu and stuff and you've, you're really getting there, you could also not get a Banshee's Fill here and then just get a Void Staff or like a Death Cap for extra damage depending on how much magic resistance they have. But you have to, because you have to remember that Magic Pen is not the best of the best choice in this stage. Like a Void Staff doesn't really help a Mumu that, that much because... This gives magic pen, this gives magic pen, and it's passive gives magic pen, which is the main kicker here. This passive gives a lot of magic pen. So this wouldn't be too important. You could better go for like a death cap to really boost up your damage if you want to deal more damage. If you're really fed, if you're ahead, or if they don't have like any type of uh, AP damage on the enemy team, then getting a death cap is really nice as well. So death cap will give you a solid damage boost. With a death cap and this build, you're going to have about 600 ability power-ish. Which means if you ult people on the enemy team, you're literally just going to one-shot them. Like, they're just going to die. So, that's really nice. And then you can also, if you really want to go for like a full AP build, you can also just get a death cap right after this. And then skip your frozen frozen art, which I would not recommend. Like, 99% of the time, because frozen art is such a godlike item. You could do it if you want. If you want to have some fun. And then just build like this. Just get the extra death cap, get the massive AP increase, and then get the... Uh, extra bit of magic penetration and then just you're gonna have some fun one shotting people i can tell you that much so yeah that's pretty much your amumu build i would advise going for the frozen heart into banshee's build it's easier to play with it is generally more effective unless you get those really good flash ults in so it's completely up to you but that is it for the build so let's get right into the game now see you there Well, what's up? What's going on, you guys? Frost here, and welcome to the gameplay section of this video. And uh, I'm again joined with a friend of mine, Mr. Yanni. Hello. Hello. Starting on blue buff with the moon. Starting with W, by the way. Some of you might think, why the fuck are you starting with W, you idiot? But this gives you the most damage on the cam. Because it's maximum health damage each second. This one doesn't give you constant damage. It does reduce some damage, but it doesn't give you more damage than W for clearing camps. 
Plus it saves you some mana overall. It, it, this costs less than this. I'm just gonna full clear with a Mumu. It's easy. It's fast. My Mumu build goes into fully, pretty much fully a Mumu. A bit of tank stats in the end, but yeah. It's a really good Mumu build. Like it can carry it throughout pretty much all elos, especially lower elos. It's really good because you don't get counter jungled. That's literally the only weakness of a Mumu. It's getting counter jungled early. Apart from that, he's he's really strong, especially in this new preseason jungle because his jungle clear is just insane. And he brings a lot of CC to the table. So good against assassins and stuff. Because if they jump on you, you just ult them or you Q them and they die. That's this why way. I've been liking Mumu a lot. What about Vayne? Took a lot she of free damage. Into a trap. I that's smart. If you bind that Caitlyn once, she's gone though. I think. Oh, you're, they're gonna hit level 2 first though. You need to be careful, man. Yeah. Unless it's Vayne... Picks up her uh, her clearing. Wee. Picking a I second. What? Oh god! Wait, how the hell did only Bard hit level two first? Interesting. I'm picking up uh, E on level three, by the way, because it helps me clear this camp way faster. And it's a, it it allows me to reduce more damage. So I take less damage from clearing my jungle camps. That second point, like the, the extra points in E really help you out in clearing your camp. E doesn't really help you that much. It only Oh come on! Every fucking game, dude. Ugh. Oh. Kill him, please. Please be nice to me. Why does this happen? This is literally what can the only thing that can kill you. Is it a Trindomir? <laughs> yeah, that's really troll. Trindomir, Trindomirs usually do not, do not do this shit. Oh, come on! Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm actually gonna die here. This red buff is gonna kill me. And his crits. No! Ha! Yo! Holy shit, this guy! Holy shit, guys. That was so troll. Oh my god, I have no words for that one. My god, that guy. He just he just met it, fucked up big time. That was hilarious, dude. Wow. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that. Don't worry, I'll take that. At this stage, Trendimer just loses. He, like, he, at this, now he just doesn't win anymore. That was really troll. He was so far ahead. Oh. Wow. Alright, I'll take that. No problem. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna gank bot lane soon. Or mid lane, I mean. You should always gank an Ari pre double six if you have the option. Because it really helps out the other laner. And since you won't ever ult yet, it's gonna help a lot. I'm gonna get this and overrun mid lane. Yeah, yeah, chill, Je Jesus Christ, this guy keeps pinging. Chill, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, this is warded. He should back. reach this is just gonna keep pushing I mean I'm just gonna clear my the rest of my jungle careful for Bart maybe don't get stunned I guess loads of damage level five now Renamir's bot Zed should outscale Arya at this point with a hex drinker and level six he should be fine But that's something we're gonna have to see. I'm almost level 6. I think Grom gives me level 6. With that I should be able to gank either Ari or bot lane. For some free kills. 
It might dragon actually. I think about it. Renoran is pretty good at doing it. I can come and join you. No, yeah. If they're doing it, they're get low, so it doesn't isn't necessary. But no, they're not doing it. Go for Caitlyn fast. Go 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 go. Stop, bind him. Go play. Go go go. Come. Keep going. Turn the miss on me. Really ulted for that. <laughs> yeah, he was about to dash out, and I, I don't know. I wanted to kill, I guess. Oh, oh really? <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Didn't look like I wanted that kill, did it? Not at all. Not at all. That honestly looked pretty troll, but getting kills on a moon is worth. I call worth. I think that gets me pretty close. Uh, still not close enough. Single target a moon world right there. Oh, holy shit. Is that... Hang on, mate. Oh, damn it. I... The minion wave showed up. I couldn't do shit. Got him. Got him, Captain. If you can... You're actually gonna kill him. You're... Act no, he's just got his ult from that leveling up. That is super unlucky. Just time it perfectly. Time it perfectly. Time it now and he... Oh, he actually went out. He doesn't have ult anymore. If Vayne is smart, she can actually kill him. Wow. He just leveled up from that as well. That's super sad for you, man. Yeah. That's a bit of annoying, but yeah. And I'm able to back from a jungle item, which is nice. I got his blue as well. Even better. If he didn't level up right there from killing the red buff, you would have killed him. <laughs> and I'm really strong right now. I'm 3 0 and 1. I'm just gonna. His ult costs 150, right? How much does Malphite ult cost? 100 or 150? I think it's 100. I think they lowered it. At 8. No. Ult him. Please ult him, please ult him, please ult him, please just ult him. Oh, come on, he was so late on ulting that shit. He should have ulted him sooner. That would have been able to give us the kill. Because he was able to turn on his ult before Malphite ulted him. So if Malphite ulted him, like, as a surprise ult, instead of ulting him after I got my shit on him, then we would have killed him because he wouldn't have pressed his ult and then he wouldn't have had the extra armor and magic resist. That's the only reason we didn't kill him there. Unfortunate. So if this Malphite played that smarter, we would have killed him, no problem. Vendemir shouldn't have his ult back yet, so if this head plays this any type of... Alright, that's a late shadow. I think it wasn't. It must have been on cooldown. Probably. Not gonna happen. I got him. All right, good. I was I was kind of scared that I wouldn't have been able to kill him, and he would have been able to run away too fast. But I did enough damage, barely. I did enough damage to end there. I need to be careful for Trendemir now. Trendemir is probably coming bot lane. Yeah, Trendemir is coming bot lane. Careful, man. <laughs> Lol, the flesh. Right, she's dead. Oh, that's oh, that close. Is. That's so close. Zed might actually get him. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna actually die if I don't. If I'm not careful here. I'm he has his ult, so I'm not gonna fight him. If he didn't have ult, like I'm, I'm 90% sure he has ult. 99% sure even. He's here. I'm away. He might kill me though. You popped his ult? 
He's gonna pop it now. Oh, nice! You killed him. Well played, dude. That's a, that's a definitely a death trend, Amir. Now his ulti is down at least. <laughs> yeah, that's a good binding. Max range binding, probably. Yep. He just used his. Uh... His E, yeah. And I'm 5 0 2 right now. This is taking off very well. I have flash ult in the 45 seconds. Oh, 40 seconds, actually. I need the back. I have 2k gold. You want it? Okay, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Oh shit. I didn't have oh. Q up. I couldn't, oh. like, flash Q him or anything. I didn't have it up. Ari's gonna get mid turret. Not fast. I wanna ping that. No, not danger ping it. What the fuck? Wait, what? You hit I the. Hit oh, the you hit the fight. binding. I see. I was, how did I get that kill? But my W was open as well. And I'm backing now. I can pick up this plus my other magic pen uh, item, I think. Which is gonna give me massive damage. Yeah, I haven't. Pretty much exactly enough the, uh, money right now. At this stage, I literally one shot their entire team because I do true damage. I have 30 flat magic pen, plus a lot of AP, 100 AP, and then I have passive magic resist uh, reduction as well. 20 magic resist reduction from auto attack and more. Well, I pretty much have uh, 50 armor pen. Uh, armor pen. I mean magic pen, which is a lot of magic pen for this stage of the game. No one has, no one really has 50 magic resist, I think. But this guy actually has quite a lot of magic resist because he's stacking it, right? Wanna gank bot? I'm gonna take his red buff first, and then we'll gank bot lane. I'll, I have flash ult for that, but I'm pretty sure it's up. Yeah, it's up. After this, I'll come bot lane with a flash ult. Uh, missing bot. I don't think he lay, he'll be able to do much. They're gonna get first turret top lane though. Think. At least one of the assist. <laughs> Walking casual by. <laughs> Just walk by to get my W proc on the guy. They got first turret, that's sad. That didn't roam up fast enough. Was jacking up in mid lane, unlucky. I couldn't get there until, like, no way that I would've gotten there in time. Zed would've been able to get there, but yeah. Bart barely escaped. He exhausted me, I'm pretty sure. Not Mr. as well, it's not too bad. What's the plan? Wanna go for Ari or...? Yeah, I'm ready. Just black shield me, wanna... when... now or something? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ari ult is so annoying, dude. Like, you can't gank that shit unless you, uh, I instantly ult her. No, we didn't get barred. How did and we not get barred? <laughs> we didn't kill him. Bart is running to you. See it. Oh, for fuck's sake, did he just... God damn it, Bard. Giving other people the kill instead of me. I'm slowing. Nice. Good shit. <laughs> Ooh, mid lane has problems. Get this, get this dragon. I think. No, actually, no, we have to go to fight. Yeah, okay, dragon. Oh, it's resetting, you son of a bitch, dragon. Alright. I'm gonna full clear my jungle now. Get some extra farm in. I'm 8 0 and 3 with a lot of. Oh, 20 minutes on my red buff. 
Dad, please. Holy shit, Zed. He's probably gonna get it, but have it by now. We're probably gonna be too late. Yep, too late. Unlucky. God damn it, Zed. If he actually walked up instantly, you would have killed that trend no problem. Yep, he would. I don't care about the red buff, I'm gonna Moo Moo, I don't give a shit, but just the fact that it's a free kill. After this, I should have enough for parts of my Rylize. Two big, two pretty big parts, but yeah. I can buy both the Giants belt and a needlessly large rod now. Nice. I'm gonna be really strong now. I'm running bot lane now. He can easily 1v1 that Trendemir, I think. Yeah, just W damage him, dude. Why is he running? Holy shit. Ult. Just use your ult. Just use your ult. Come on, dude. Now I just gotta time this shit. Looking at it, looking at it. There we go. If you keep your mouse on it, you can see the timer on the thing, which allows you to see when. Alright, one shot it. I Not... didn't even get an assist on that. Really? No. Uh. Oh fuck, I missed my Q. I'm not gonna, he's gonna die unless you save him, but I'm not gonna be able to save him. Actually, I might be able to save him now. Oh shit. I, have Ry I don't have Rylai slows yet, but I can probably stall him out for a bit and then now run. But now Malphite is gonna die, so I'm not sure. Actually, he's not gonna die, okay, that's good. I have Rylai's now, which is really nice. I'm just gonna go to my bot side jungle to pick up the blue buff. I don't particularly care about the mana, so I'm not gonna wait for it right now. I'm gonna pick up a blue buff, so... Yeah. That Caitlyn got hella deleted, though. Like, she had no chance. QRE and she's gone. My ult does, like, 400... Actually, how much damage is this? About 425, 425? Come away. Fuck it. Oh shit. Got him. Turn to me as binded when he comes over. Yeah, but I can't fight this. I don't have ult yet. If I had ult, then sure I would fight that guy because Trendemir had no ult there, I think. I fucking love those planes. <laughs> They're so fucking awesome. <laughs> I die here. I did a lot of damage to Ari right there in the end, but I again didn't have my ult, so. Go away, cinched. I need to back. I need to really back. I can pick up a blasting one, so it's not too bad of a back either. I'm also fairly sure that their blue buff is up right now, so I should probably go to that. I can pick that up as well and deny it from Ari and just get it on myself. Really helps. I'm kind of slacking on farming this game. I've been doing a lot of uh, fighting. L fucking clown fiesta. Let me see if the blue is up. I mean, if Ari shows up for the blue, I pretty much just kill her, right? Pretty sh I think so. It is up. I'm gonna use my sweeping to know if it's warded. Oh, careful, careful, careful. I'm running now, on my way. 
and then Wayne walking right into it. I think I can get faster without getting seen. It's just really nice. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, I thought that tunnel would go f a bit further, but it didn't. <laughs> Hardy doesn't have ult anymore. Got him. Hey, Frozen, you need to uh, die one time. No, no, I don't need to die one time, please. I want to keep uh, my... Yeah, 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 you, you need to follow the, the leader here. And that is, you have to get one death. No, 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 no. I'm gonna keep my perfect score, man. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna go in for my... before next fight, you die. <laughs> yeah, in before. <laughs> oh my god. I, I can see it happen, though, honestly. Oh shit, dragon just spawned. I need to back for this, though. Alright. Go back for this, and then I'm gonna go into my other... Like this. As soon as I get this item, I'm gonna be so broken. This one. Going for it. It's giving me 20% CDR, 90 armor, and 400 mana. Plus the attack speed slow, which is insane. Like that, combined with it, like this damage I have right now is more than enough for the rest of the game, technically. So I'm gonna do shit loads of damage to the enemy team, and I can just be like tank a Mumuno, pretty much. I don't have smite for this though, so that's kind of awkward. Find her and she dies. Yup. Hmm. Easy. Venomous here. Oh, oh, he walked the other way. Okay. Oh, he's going top lane actually. Shit. We won't make it in time, I think. The plan is up actually. We could take that plan. I could. I'm gonna take that plan. Crap, what, don't run that way, mate! Come on, get one slow! Oh, come on, I missed that shit, really? Fine, I'm just gonna ult them. Got him. I'm not getting any kill this game. I just used a single target ultimate on Singe, let's go. <laughs> and now I'm back. I pick up this. One of these, and then I go to my blue buff real quick. I could sell this for the other part of the item, but I don't want to because this is really helping me out and sustaining a little bit. So I'm just gonna wait until I can buy this full item and then I can sell this later for another item. Which in this case might turn out to be Void Staff. Because I Are think I'll be down? tanky enough. And they don't really have enough magic damage to kill me, so I don't really need to build a magic resist item right now. The Ari doesn't really do much and Sinch also doesn't really do much magic damage wise. But the real threat is armor, and I'm gonna have that covered, so that's why I'm gonna go for uh, Void Staff, most likely. Because I want extra Magic Pen. Magic Pen is the way to kill people with a Mumu. Really, stacking up AP doesn't really help you all that much. Still really nice, of course, but they might be doing Baron. Nah, no, they're not. Bard is here. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get stunned here, yep. He got slowed though, I might be able to catch with him, catch up with him. Oh, beautiful, I got it. Alright, Zed can have to kill, I guess. Rylas is so bullshit on a Mumu because he can't get away from you. Should be able to get free turrets here. I didn't get my ult there perfectly, so that's kind of annoying. That's kind of really annoying, actually. 
I didn't position it properly, so I didn't hit all of them properly. Just oh, he doesn't have ult. Ow. Yeah, yeah, I got a kill. Everything hurts, dude. <laughs> it does so much damage. I'm 17 0 and 6 though, which is nice. C can I take the blue buff? Thank you. No. Thank you. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Smite OP, man. And I can... Even though my Q does a lot of damage. Yeah. I don't come by this. Now I'm gonna sell this for the uh, blasting one part of the void staff. Late game, you can sell like your. Uh... As I mentioned before, actually, you can sell like your boots and stuff for death cap and stuff to get more damage in. But yeah. As of right now, I, I, magic pen is the way to go. I pretty much want to do as much true damage as I possibly can. I, when I hit level 16, by the way, my ult's gonna do massive amounts of damage to the entire enemy team. So I'm kind of rushing for that. One camp, if this is up, this should do it. Oh, hey, Trendomir. Lol. What? He, Lol. Didn't ult? he didn't have ult, I guess. I don't know. Interesting. Lol. I don't have ult yet, 15 seconds. And she's pushing bot line. These Caitlyn traps are hella annoying, though, shit. Bane can actually deal with that thing pretty well, I think. I don't want to really dive this because that pretty much means I die. No, 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 no. You got my shield. Oh, damn. <laughs> Holy shit, Zed. Oh my god. A sin, 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 sin. He did so much damage to this guy. I'm dead actually. Fuck! No! Oh, ignite! You son of a bitch, Ari. Ignite is so annoying. I actually died now. Fuck. That's my first death. Lord, vein mechanics. Let's go. No, no. It's Yalni mechanics. Yalni mechanics. 25 stacks on your Magi's. Holy shit. <laughs> what, what is it with you and getting Magi's every game, dude? And every game you get 25 stacks as well. <laughs> Damn. Bane right now is a pretty stupid AD carry, honestly. So strong. If he gets past the laning phase, it's done. Oh fuck, now I'm 18, 1, and 8, dude. I just died once. That's super sad. Alright, how much? I need 800 gold for my uh, void staff. Uh, the if the Actually, they don't have too much magic resist though, so I might consider building into a death cap instead of a void staff right now. I will see, I guess. Death cap does give me a nice AP boost, but I, 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 actually, maybe death cap might actually give me more damage. I thought they'd be building more magic resist, but they are not for some reason. I still have ma plenty of magic pen in the rest of my build, so I'll still deal with quite a little bit of true damage. I know what you're going to do, man. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so late. I was like, ah, he doesn't do that much damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know what you were planning, dude. I know you're longer than today. Run up, dude. Where is he going? Oh, the jukes! No. Well, let's just push, I guess. Actually, I'll back. I'll back. I'm just gonna get voice staff, I think. Oh, uh, nope. I don't back. Malphite back. I have flash ult, so we can just, uh... Go for a fight. Keep pushing. We can probably get both turrets. Malphite is chasing Sin. Actually, this is game, alright. I'll take it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, pfft. Oh, you got him. You got him. <laughs> you killed him, dude. You killed him. Alright, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You just killed